You know, that's a great model, Pastor, for a family. But my family, our family, is already so messed up. We're not married. Our children are his, hers, and ours. There's already been lying. There's already been cheating. Listen to me, somebody. I need you to pay attention to this. There's already harsh words that have been said. It's already a mess. Can God really unscramble these eggs? No, he cannot. But, ha, he could add some bacon. <laughs> he could add some sausage. He could throw in some onions and some grace and some, oh, come on, somebody. He could throw in some peace and he could throw in some love and he could smother it with cheese and make an award-winning omelet out of your family. Come on, somebody. Hear me when I tell you, he's the master chef. He could hook it up. Come on, y'all know what I'm talking about. See, sometimes we get in such a mess, you know, how are we going to get out of this? Listen, if you're unmarried and you already had a baby, you cannot do that. Judah, what's my two favorite work? But God can do all things. Come on, somebody. Listen, we serve a God of redemption. A God of restoration. He's not a God just of a second chance. He's a God of another chance. Humpty Dumpty right sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's nobles, all the king's men could not put Humpty Dumpty back together again. Come on, let me hear it again. What's my two favorite words? But God could put Humpty back together. I'm trying to preach some hope to somebody in this house this morning. Your latter days can be greater than your former days. He could still redeem your children, your wife, your marriage. He can redeem your in-laws. He can redeem your outlaws. Come on, somebody. He is the restorer of the things that the palmer worm destroyed. He could turn the heart of the father to the children. He could turn the heart of the children back to the father. Somebody, thank God in this house that we serve a God of restoration. When we look through the model family in the Bible, and I'm done here, you can't find it. You could go all the way back to the original family, Adam and Eve. The first problem, Eve is talking to a snake. <laughs> Honey, don't talk to no snakes. How many of you know today snakes walk upright? Oh, come on, somebody. <laughs> and Adam was a man enough to step in. They have a couple children, Cain and Abel. Dysfunctional. Cain killed Abel. Why? It was the first church fight. He killed him over worship. Dysfunctional. You have Abraham, the great patriarch of the Jewish faith. The great patriarch, even of Islam. The great patriarch, even of today's Christianity. He's the great patriarch. He lied and said, hey, this isn't my wife, Sarah. No, go have favor. You can have her. He lied. When Sarah said, hey, I can't get pregnant, go with Hagar. Okay. <laughs> Dysfunctional church. Amen. You have King David who cheats with his general's wife. Yeah. She comes up pregnant. He doesn't know what to do. He tries to cover his sin, sends Uriah to the front lines to have him murdered. He's an adulterer and a murderer. And the Bible says that David was a man after God's own heart. We're talking about major dysfunction in families. The Bible says that Absalom, David's son, even tried to kill him. Listen, I could go on and on and on and on. But here's the deal, church. When you follow this family three, it's riddled with adultery, drunkenness, murder, lying, rape, 
incest. What good can possibly come from this? Until you move to about 2,000 years ago in a little town called Bethlehem, there was a there was a child who was born. We're talking about the lineage of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, who today is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I'm telling you there's hope because God still brought forth his promise in a Messiah in spite of all the foolishness, sinfulness, and disobedience. So if God can do that through all of that, his only one and begotten son, he can certainly, listen to me somebody, bring forth promises in our lives. Come on, if you believe that this morning, put your hands together and give our God a praise in this house. <laughs> 